Ben here, and I'm with my friend and colleague, Catherine Diadere, and today we are aboard the Sun Odyssey 380. We're out here on Biscayne Bay, just off the shore of Miami, Florida. Catherine, we're here to talk about all the things that we love about the new 380. Let's talk first and foremost about where this boat fits in the market. It fits right in the heart of the market. We have been waiting for this boat for a long time, and, and we're very excited. We introduced it in Annapolis in, back in October. And she's right between the 349, our very popular 34 footer, and the 410 that we introduced a few years back. That's awesome. Let's talk a little bit about what makes this boat a special, which is the walk around deck. That started with the 440 and went up to the 490. And now we've come all the way back down through the range. We're here on the 380. We have that same feature. Let's talk a little bit about the walk around deck. It really comes and completes the range and it goes well beyond the walk around deck and not stepping on your cushions and not stepping over the coming. And I think it's a great feature for, you know, families with young kids or aging sailors. So it really appeals to everyone, but it goes beyond that because you can helm from different positions. I personally like standing when I helm and you can be way outboard and looking at your sails and also trimming position. You can trim your winches from outboard and have nice visibility. Yeah, you can really see on these uh, boats. Mm -hmm. Like you said, you can step right outside, you can see all your sails, you can see traffic and things like that. That's great. Okay, one of the tests that we uh, we must pass that you know is our boats need to sail. So let's talk a little bit about the designer behind this boat. For that, we went back to Mark Lombard. He was a designer on the 349, you mentioned that. He was a designer on the 410, you mentioned that too. And he's a designer on this. Let's talk a little bit about the performance of uh, the part of the boat and what makes this special. They need to sail and they need to sail well, and, and that it does. Uh, we just took it for a spin and, and it did not disappoint, even in the low breeze that we had. So, you know, between the hot shine and the hull shape, the inverted bow, the twin rudders, the textile steering cables, I mean, the, the sensitive helm, it's so responsive and it's just fast, you yeah. know? And yeah. really, uh, it's true on the 349, it's true on the 410, and it's very true on the 38. Yeah, for sure. And this boat has a classic main, It has a relatively small Genoa, but uh, you can have a bigger mainsail, you can have a square top main. Let's talk a little bit about the various rig configurations that we get with, uh, with the 380. What I like, like just the other Genoa's, we can tailor the configuration to the needs of our owners. And so you can have a classic rig and, and like the 410 and the 440, you have a low gooseneck on this boat, which means that when you do have a classic main and a lazy bag, you don't have to climb your mast, you can comfortably and safely zip up your lazy bag so you can have that and also you will notice that we don't have a backstay just like on the 349 which means that when you're standing behind the helm you don't have a wire in your back but you can also have a square top main so that adds a little bit more performance if you want to you can have a code zero or a bigger uh, genoa you can also have a furling main and the self tacker if that's your speed and you can have a, a releasable forestay for a cutter rig as well yeah that's fantastic so lots and lots of options when it comes to the rig depending on where you're going to sail Right. That's great. Okay, well, let's talk a little bit about the cockpit. We say that uh, our customers spend 75, 80% of their time in the cockpit. So we put a lot of effort in the design of it. We want people to be comfortable because they spend a lot of time in and outside. Let's talk a little bit about the cockpit on the 380. To start with, you know, how big it, it is and how big it feels. The, the benches on the side are very long. You can really uh, sit and relax or even lounge if you wanted to. Uh, standard, it does not come with a table, so you know some of our clients like to have like an open concept and uh, and have it completely uh, open here. But you can have this table or even another table uh, with more storage and cup holders if you wanted. But uh, either way, these uh, leaves fold up and you can sit six people around the table very comfortably and have a nice dinner. And uh, also here you notice because of the twin helm, uh, it opens up the cockpit to your transom which uh, a lot of people have, uh, have come to uh, love on our boats. Right, right. And then we have this great swim platform on the back. And uh, if you're in Florida, you're going to be swimming off the back of the boat. If you're cruising in the Caribbean, uh, you're going to be coming up on a tender. So this just flips right back uh, onto the water. What's great about the swim platform is it takes no volume out of the boat at all. So it's just something that folds up on the back of the boat. And when uh, when, you're, when it's not in use, you fold it up and when you need it, you drop it down. Right. And on this particular boat, you will notice we have uh, the davits that are part of the Voyager pack. And uh, these are nice and simple. I like them a lot. And they fold, um, they, they twist out of the way when you're not uh, using them. Uh, so I, I like it nice and simple and efficient. And then of course, all the controls are laid back with your winches way here 
which is nice because you can single hand the boat, tack the boat. You don't need uh, any crew. Your crew can just lounge and, and enjoy. Yeah, that, that's a big plus. It used to be you had to say, excuse me, I got to get to the winch. They'd have to move. Today, the sailing operations are really in the back of the boat. So your passengers can just go along for the ride if that's what they want to do. Right. Okay, that's awesome. Let's, let's drop down below. Let's talk about the layout and the available options to the layout. And let's start talking about the standard layout. And the standard layout is uh, is fantastic, especially on this brand new boat. Uh, it's a two cabin, one head, and we have a complete separate shower in this configuration with its own door. It's uh, it's quite amazing and roomy and a lot of headroom. And uh, through the head, you can access a garage that comes here on starboard that you can also access from the cockpit. Okay, so that's the standard configuration. There's other options available. Let's talk a little bit about those. A lot of other choices. We can have a two cabin, uh, two head, a three cabin, one head, or a three cabin, two head. Your master cabin is going to be forward. And uh, again, we brought, you know, the rectangular berth from the 410 and the 440, and we were able to do it on a 38 footer. So it's not a V berth anymore. You don't have to chase your pillows on the floor. You can sit and, 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 and sleep comfortably, uh, looking at the water with these nice windows on each side. And uh, in the three cabin or the two cabin, two head configuration, your bed doesn't get any smaller forward. So it's a really nice, comfortable cabin. That's fantastic. Okay, let's talk a little bit about the main salon and then let's talk about the galley. Right. The main salon, again, very spacious, a lot of natural light. We have these nice portals on the side, lots of hatches. Uh, so it's, uh, it really is uh, a lot of uh, light in there and uh, a nice chaise on starboard that is uh, a favorite of mine because you can be comfortably sitting on either tack on the way. And then of course we have a chart table because we can do without it and it's nicely uh, located on starboard. And the galley is a more traditional galley. We're going back to an L galley on this boat, but it has a lot of nice features, a really big fridge, coin countertops, uh, everything you need really. Yeah, that's great. And then let's talk a little bit about the wood choices because this happens to be antique but you can also get it in, in, in another color. All right, you can have it in gray cedar. Uh, so for a lighter feel, you can have fabric on the bulkheads forward or not if you wanted, uh, if you wanted a more traditional look. And of course, lots of uh, choices for the fabric. So again, you can uh, tailor the boat to your needs from the rig to uh, the interior to the keel too. We have a deep draft, the shoulder draft, or lifting keel on this boat as well. Wow. That's a lot. Okay, so that pretty much sums up the Sun Odyssey 380. You can learn more about the boat on our website at Juno.com. Also, of course, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram. And uh, most importantly, we hope to see you on the water. Lots of 380s in the market are coming your way. And um, let's go sailing. All right, sails up. We need to go back. Sails up. Let's go. <laughs>